I hope everyone is able to see my screen. Okay, guys, so uh, welcome to this particular webinar. Uh, this webinar was particularly my idea to quickly uh, show some information, like share some information about uh, COVID-19, which the entire world is struggling through. And we all are trying to sort of uh, fight with, like on an economic front, as well as on a health for front as well. So this particular webinar, uh, it will be me who will be leading the webinar. And along with me, I'll be having uh, Kinshuk, one of my uh, good friends and a doctor uh, as well. And you can see our uh, qualifications. I don't think we need to describe more. Uh, before we start, I'd like to give a quick introduction about the company. So Cloud Analogy is a leading top rated Salesforce services uh, company and consulting provider. So we are all inclusive Salesforce services and most of the work which we do is related to uh, multiple domains of uh, healthcare, finance and uh, uh, real estate and multiple other domains as well. So without any ado, uh, let me get started. So with COVID-19 impact on global health and business. Uh, so unfortunately, because of cloud analogies presence in many regions around the world, we are gaining firsthand knowledge of coronavirus effect on global business. As with all crises, there are some business that stands to benefit and that's true but however many companies in frontline countries are facing challenges as results of the virus outbreaking so the challenges which they are facing are numerous and uh, with the statistics you can easily identify that the total global cases are reaching towards uh, 500,000 margin and if it goes like this, it will probably easily touch a million uh, cases. There are a very uh, steep hike in the global deaths. And uh, you can also sort of get it compared with India. And especially in India, it came late. So probably we as a Indian or as our Indian government uh, got some privilege on preparing for this particular outbreak. So that's what we are trying to do. And if you can see the map, which I'm sharing right now, this is like the latest most information as of now for today. And uh, so those are the different states and regions uh, which are mostly affected. And as you can see, both the East Coast and the West Coast and the the New York area and the, and the, and the uh, San Francisco, California area, basically both are uh, getting the most affected out of it. And this is disrupting a lot of other businesses as well. And uh, as far as India goes, uh, what a, a specific uh, thing which has been seen is like uh, business domain people who travel a lot have carried this virus and uh, cities or to say like states like uh, uh, Kerala or Maharashtra. Maharashtra is having Mumbai, which is a business hub in India and our sort of financial capital of India. So that is also affected. And uh, and, and they, they have the uh, highest hike. So moving ahead, uh, before I jump to the challenges, like what is the decision? What we have noticed is definitely a drop in business activities. Number one is the drop in business activities. Some companies have seen their uh, growth rate drop sharply between December and February. Several companies that were on track are now at risk of uh, missing their quarter one 2020 plans. Uh, probably we are also on that. As effects of the virus ripple wider, the supply chain disruption. So that is like the second thing. Uh, the unprecedented lockdowns in the manufacturing country like manufacture of the 
planet is China, is directly impacting global supply chains. Hardwares direct to consumers and retailing companies may need to find alternative suppliers. And pure software companies like us are less exposed to supply chain disruption, but remains at the risk uh, due to cascading economic effects. Uh, third is definitely the curtailment of uh, travel and uh, like cancelled meeting and many companies have banned all non-essential travels and some banned all international travels as well even with us uh, we have our uh, salesforce experts in australia who were about to attend the salesforce world tour which got cancelled or uh, to say like which got converted to a virtual uh, world tour so much of the meetings the face-to-face one-to-one meetings got cancelled and all so that uh, caused a lot of disruption and while travel companies are directly impacted companies which promote or to say like, like operate in the tour and travel like uh, companies uh, they got mostly impacted and that depend on in-person meetings to conduct sales business development or partnership discussions are being affected so as far as i see uh, especially even big giants like general general electric uh, twitter boeing everyone has got impacted they are probably <clears throat> laying off employees marking their losses right from the very beginning and one of the industries, aviation industries, is almost doomed. So uh, even with us, uh, we uh, have recently completed one project, Aviate Now, uh, which being it's one of one of its kind app on App Exchange Salesforce, and we gave good enough a year of uh, like a good five ten people development team and QA and a lot of. Uh, uh, generating a lot of values and all but at the end uh, with this covid 19 it's 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 all almost uh, gone back to zero so it will i'm not nobody is sure like how much time it will going to take and that's where like it will take considerable time perhaps several quarters before we can even be confident that the virus has been contained it will take even longer for the global economy to recover its footing some of you may experience softening demand some of you may face supply challenges uh, while the fed and the other central banks can cut interest rates uh, monetary monetary policy may prove a blunt tool in elevating the economic ramification of a global health crisis so that's that's like the challenges which we see and it's global, right? So even in India, we are absolutely seeing the similar things. Uh, like the recent most today's news is like Go Air has said that they won't be able to give salaries to their employees. Uh, like uh, the top management salaries have also been directed by other <clears throat> uh, aviation industry uh, companies. Uh, tourism is definitely one of the biggest thing got impacted on, and uh, it's it's almost like uh, a lot of a lot of businesses uh, which were dependent directly or indirectly on tourism uh, let it be uh, businesses like airbnb or businesses like restaurants and travel itself so everything has uh, been affected especially with this virus being so contagious and so fast in transmission which again uh, kinshuk will be uh, the right person to explain but uh, quickly jumping on uh, the tourism industry has really got impacted and, uh, and 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 it's going to be definitely a huge crisis most of the countries even like india uh, does a lot of their gdp growth uh, via tourism and uh, it's related uh, businesses provide a lot of uh, jobs so that is uh, that is one thing which is undeniably getting affected so moving forward i would let uh, kinshuk to speak a bit more about uh, the facts about coronavirus and uh, uh, how uh, 
what are the statistics right now so can you yeah you can get started thank you jay thank you so much so basically uh, this is a virus uh, we usually get uh, into our body are the bacteria overlying ev everywhere we roam around so virus is uh, something that is more effective and uh, more dangerous than bacteria uh, we have uh, in past uh, few years have uh, with uh, uh, seen so many cases of sars and mars these two diseases you are i think you are familiar with so this is the third uh, uh, range of virus this is from uh, one and same family this is the third type of virus which is corona virus which is a crown as when you see through the microscope uh, it appears like a crown in on the head of a king so this is a pandemic and pandemic means it is uh, everywhere like universally spread not uh, in uh, uh, limited to a, a small region or small uh, number of people so pandemic is like it is spreading everywhere around the world and first thing that we every country or every government is doing is the lockdown this is right now the only and only substitute so that uh, no more spreading of the virus can be done and uh, uh, the most uh, transmission uh, transmissions that are occur in the regions with the low temperatures between 37 and 62 degrees it has been seen like uh, 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 what i have been researching around and what i have seen is that the regions below the temperate area temperate zone are uh, less affected we can they are not like we have not seen uh, zero cases but yes those are affected but they, those are less affected uh, and as the myth says that uh, everybody have uh, heard or uh, read somewhere like corona uh, can be uh, 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 like uh, uh, eliminated by raising the temperature and it is not uh, the way it's like uh, where there are high temperatures it can't uh, grow or don't have that sustain uh, sustainable environment to grow on those places so it is difficult but we can't say it can't be grown over there so like uh, arizona florida texas we have slow, uh, seen slower outbreak over there because they are below the temperate region and uh, warmer places as i already said uh, they are less affected so it is the first or and the most uh, uh, easy way that virus that get into our body is our oral route like from our mouth and our nasal route like from these orifices uh, our nasal orifices so the first thing we can do is properly uh, enclose this area but it can't be done as uh, we are humans and we have to breathe so uh, what uh, we can do is most of the time we can cover it with a mask uh, as we people see uh, usually seeing are the n95 masks these are like 95 percent protective from viruses and bacteria uh, bacteria and other pathogens so it's like not 100 uh, percent it can uh, make us safe but yeah it is a preventive measure a best preventive measure we can take and uh, another best preventive measure is like sanitizing your hand about uh, after touching e anything like if you are having food if you are touching uh, surfaces like door knobs your table surfaces your daily mobile phones and the things you use for your daily purposes so uh, only the droplets that can sustain over there uh, are the droplets so we should sanitize our hands and uh, much uh, stay in our houses that is the only way to get rid of this thing so to know, to know those informative uh, information kinshuk uh, dr kinshuk uh, doctor i had like a uh, few questions already set up as we discussed and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the truth is like one of those questions you already answered related to uh like uh, uh like whether in the warmer places will it will it reduce down or not yes okay. yes yes yes, so yes i would like my audience 
uh, to ask any question if they have uh, to our doctor. Yeah, yeah. Free, uh, feel free to ask anything. And uh, while they are asking, Kinshuk, can you sort of introduce yourself? Uh, because that is something I <laughs> might have not done properly, like what you are doing right now and all. Uh, well, thank you, Ajay. But uh, right now, uh, I'm a doctor. Uh, I have done my MBBS from Rohil Khan Medical College and Hospital, Bareilly. And uh, right now, I'm posted as a medical officer uh, at Kurukshetra in the government polyclinic and uh, just going through all these cases every day <laughs> okay and how is your day in day out like uh, can can you tell us a bit about that by the way i know it's <laughs> and at the end we all will be yeah, chatting yeah. for you but uh, definitely uh, no, no 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 how your daily schedule goes <laughs> like how many hours are you working right now uh, i'm working like uh, 12 to 14 hours a day great to know that and because that because uh, when people got to know about corona and its symptoms be, first of all let me tell you the symptoms uh, anybody wants to know is that sim symptoms like he wants to know that i am really affected or not so first thing i want to tell everybody is the symptoms of a normal flu common cold and uh, of coronavirus covid 19 disease coronavirus disease we can say are uh, almost same we can't uh, distinguish on the base of uh, basis of their symptoms uh, anything right now we people uh, only have the option to ask our patient that if they have any travel history or uh, any history of in contact with uh, with some person who has traveled from uh, from uh, from the danger zones of india where many uh, cases are there uh, rather than if they have visited away from the india so basically many people come to me and these days because they are more aware of, aware about the uh, symptoms they they are having common uh, flu but uh, because uh, they are panicked about the situation and they are like just hustling and bustling all around yeah absolutely and uh... Could you tell a bit more about like why uh, a general question came to me and many people asked me like why India uh, took this decision right now or to say like why didn't it took it before or why not later because as compared to other countries uh, like what triggered this decision probably? Uh, as uh we have uh, uh, a uh, subject in our uh, co medical course that was social preventive medicine the first line in that textbook is prevention is better than cure so right now uh, this step is just a prevention uh, so that uh, cases are increasing day by day in india and uh, as we know about our hygiene uh, environment in india is not that very good so if it spreads into the people with low socioeconomic statuses it will spread uh, uh, with a rate 50 percent faster than it is spreading right now so lockdown is uh, the only option so that early as early as we can lock down our nation we can uh, i can't say we will eradicate this disease but yes we will uh, see less number of cases yeah good to know that at least uh, and what about the timeline can you also tell us a bit uh, and our uh, uh, viewers a bit more about timeline what timeline do you foresee like how long will this go on because this is definitely impacting each one of our lives and businesses last within the last three days uh, i was uh, just going through the news every day and uh, a few days ago four days ago i i was seeing there was 432 or 433 cases in india but as it spread in 10 days is from zero to uh, 400 cases it directly uh, there was a raise of 200 uh, patients within two and three days and uh, i think there must be a lockdown of at least two months for india 
okay so that's what you <laughs> foresee like at least a two months lockdown that's that's a long 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 that's period. that's the only way out okay that's inevitable okay well uh, that's that's like other other questions are also here uh, which we discussed earlier and probably i'd like you to elaborate for our viewers uh, why the disease is being called covid 19 COVID-19 as uh, COVID-19 stands for the st starting two initials are CO that is Corona, VI stands for virus and uh, the last D is a disease and 19 as it the first case came uh, to uh, uh, the focus uh, on 20th uh, if I'm not wrong on 20th December 2019 in Wuhan, China. So it is, and the co corona, corona, as I told tell, told earlier, that uh, when you see through the microscope, it have projections like uh, the crown of a king. So it was named after that co coronavirus. What is this? Is it a myth or a reality? Like of this being developed as a, a warfare, like weapon, something like that, virus weapon? Uh, How much well. The main myth, uh, the uh, uh, the rumor that is spreaded everywhere is that it is it came from bat and snakes. Well, it is not that thing. It actually was already present uh, virus, but uh, I think somebody was manhandling or something like that have spread it so much. Okay, okay. So it's not a biological weapon of sort. It can it can become a biological if used. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's that's what everyone is saying. If you don't lock down, if you don't restrict uh, social. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Because uh, as we people see today's situation, it just seems like a bio weapon as it is spreading everywhere in the world. Yeah. Yeah. And how about even this question? Well, I was thinking, and like, what I see is. Everyone at one point or the other until a vaccine is developed is going to face this virus, right? Is it's going to get into our body. You can't you can't stop it. You can delay it, but you can't stop delay. it, right? So yeah. so probably delaying this will result into like the availability of uh healthcare uh things like uh, yeah, yeah. hospital beds uh, to treat those many people rather than if it escalates, then there will be no like no 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 healthcare system to treat with no right? health system. yes yes yes, yes. so, so right now also be, should should we all be prepared for this virus like getting into us sooner or later like is it no 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 uh, we cannot say this thing because uh, as uh, uh, some uh, i have seen many uh, at many places and in many articles and in memes that we are seeing uh, today at Facebook and other social networking sites and like that um, I have seen that somebody has told that the virus only exists for 14 hours on a uh, plane surface well uh, it's not actually proven that it is it sustains for 14 hours it has been uh, found, found out that it has been sustained for uh, many many days on a plane surface so I should say yes uh, you may uh, be prepared but it's not uh, getting everybody and uh, dr kinshuk i have another uh, question like uh, this particular uh, how this is this virus is attacking this the immune system like uh, many people are telling that it is going to affect the people with uh, diabetes or people with respiratory things but some places it is being mentioned like it attacks your respiratory system only it doesn't get into the blood so can you can you lab, like explain a bit more like what exactly happens and how a person yes. dies or recovers both the cases like how a person dies and especially how the person recovers okay 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 let me make it uh, uh, very easy to explain you people so basically it's been uh, observed that that the cases with the uh, immunocompromised uh, disease is like hiv or some any any immunocompromised disease 
so which can be a diabetes or hypertension because it also compromises with your immune system system as your body is not doing that perfect metabolism so uh, uh, immunocompromised doesn't mean just patients that means small children so be hello uh, bil, uh, below uh, below 12 years uh, because children are very very immunocompromised they have not developed their immune system perfectly and uh, for this this is a new virus anybody any body can't make antibody without facing any virus so the uh, virus itself is Uh, makes you in immunocompromised state as i told you earlier that it is derived from two other uh, not derived but uh, it is the third type of uh, respiratory virus we can say yes you are right it affects our upper respiratory tract uh, actually it doesn't affects it makes the symptoms uh, which uh shows that that your upper respiratory system is affected but but beneath that thing when your body is immunocompromised it makes that thing even worse by spreading into your other organs too hello sorry so asof is there any other any other question from our viewers or should we move on to next slides uh yes we have and one questions. more thing yeah sorry yeah, go ahead, you. one more thing i want to tell every i want to tell everybody that uh, one more thing everybody is asking to me that uh, if a person that gets a uh, corona virus and is treated can it be affected again yes the answer is yes but till now no any case who has been recovered seen covid positive till now date okay at least that's a good thing to hear so yeah yeah also go ahead uh, the question yeah so we have one question from nathan brown how long can covid 19 stay on surface well we can't say uh, uh, how much time it can sustain uh, first thing if we sanitize that surface it uh, 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 eliminates right uh, only that uh, on that note only and uh, after that if we doesn't sanitize that place properly it may last to many days if it gets that uh, suitable environment to stay so we have another question from sachin uh, he has asked that any information on preventive medicine which can protect from covid 19 uh, right now many researches are going on some uh, articles from good universities i have seen they say that chloroquine or chloroquine phosphatase is a drug uh, already used for dengue and malaria and uh, it shows some good uh, recovery signs in the patients but it's not yet not confirmed and uh, from now uh, many researches are being going on for the vaccine also um, it may take a time it may take uh, about a year to make vaccine in india but uh, beside india it can be i don't know they can make uh, earlier or not so uh, we have one last question from raghu uh, raghu believes that drinking warm water will help uh, you know uh, not getting covid 19 so is it a fact because uh, raghu is saying that uh, he is drinking hot water daily and consuming lot of hot water to not get covid 19 well uh, i can't say that uh, you you uh, drinking warm water can make you uh, sustainable uh, 
uh, make you away from this disease but yes drinking warm water makes your gut uh, and your intestine uh, uh, replenish and uh, uh, yes you can have a good immune system by drinking warm water but it is definitely not going to help with covid 19 no 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 nothing like that nothing like that Okay. okay, so uh, there is last question which has been raised by Nathan Brown. Uh, Nathan is asking, is there any other virus named COVID-20? <laughs> no, not yet. Uh, but right now, the trend is of COVID-19 as it is not going to until 20. <laughs> well, yeah, I think uh, those are the list of questions to Dr. Kenshuk and uh, uh, before we move on to our next slides related to uh, the impact of uh, this particular thing to uh, this covid 19 epidemic to salesforce related business and salesforce crm business like us and overall discussing a bit more about the recession uh, and all i'll be uh, I'm, I'm i'm really thankful dr kenshuk uh, for your presence in our webinar and i'm 100 percent sure like many people uh, would be glad to know that uh, dr kenshuk is always available and we'll also be uh, sharing uh, you all his uh, direct number as well as uh, uh, the account to which you can reach out to him for any help any questions and he'll be more than glad to uh, help you out guys right yeah yeah sure sure definitely i'm happy to help anybody feel free okay. to call me or contact me anytime if you need any if you have any minor ailment i am not uh, telling to consult you for a major ailment but yes for any minor minor ailment i am available uh, 24 7 always and thank, thank you, you ajay thank you for being on this lovely session uh, i'm highly obliged i'm highly obliged yeah, Dr. Kinshuk, and I'm not going to uh, force you to wait uh, till the end of the uh, session, uh, like the entire webinar. Uh, you can, if you want, you can stick around. Uh, we have a few more slides and like 10 minutes, uh, 10, 15 minutes to go. And uh, or if you want to drop off, take some rest because I know like you have just arrived from the hospital. Uh, yes, so if you yes. want to take some rest, you drop off. Okay. I would love to. I would love to. But yes, I'm a bit tired right now. <laughs> Again, thank you, Dr. Kenshuk. Have a nice day. Okay, okay. Uh, take please, some rest. Uh, thank you, thank you, Ajay. Please take care, Ajay, and stay safe. And please, everybody, stay at your home. Work from home is the best thing you can do by yourself. And uh, just uh, stay safe. That's it. Great. Thank you, Dr. Kenshuk. Uh, yep. So let me, guys, uh, move on to the next slides. Uh, the impact of uh, uh, on Salesforce and uh, its user and its business. So uh, I hope everyone liked uh, Dr. Kenshuk. He is a very smiling face, and uh, that's that's what I like about uh, people uh, who are like giving uh, are very vibrant and open to give share knowledge. So yeah, uh, coming back to our uh, original topic, there is no denying the fact that the novel coronavirus COVID-19 has turned out to be a pandemic and a global recession is very much on the cards everyone is able to see that it is likely to impact every sector and niche of industry including the software as a service segment which we all are in in order to gain a clear understanding of how software as a service company may perform uh, during the likely recession period ahead of us it is important to evaluate their performance through the previous recessions okay so prior to the start of the great recession there were 17 public software as a service companies omniature one of those companies was acquired in 29 by adobe and remaining 16 remained independent and in business through the downturn and into the recovery so that also shows a lot about uh, different uh, crm businesses and uh, different SaaS uh, companies how they uh, are able to cope up with this particular transition so that's the recession time period uh, even the challenge for us even is that many of our projects within cloud analogy as well 
have uh, sort of uh, paused or uh, we are getting good enough time period to go through this webinar as well so and 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 you know what like we have uh, a, a contingency plan uh, for cloud analogy we have built a contingency plan as well and before i uh, talk a bit about contingency plan we are also able to see some good uh, sort of uh, hike in healthcare domain and insurance finance domain so i would like to also share a quick tool uh, which uh, not a quick tool like a, 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 a app which uh, one of our uh, clients uh, we made it for and uh, would like to share that with you all so yeah so this is an app uh, which we have been um, developing and uh, we launched the COVID-19 patient and lab technician portal for one of our client and to help people to do their pre-analysis of getting the tests for COVID-19, uh, booking an appointment for the test, reviewing the lab results from an email, text or portal itself. Uh, they can review those results. And then also the lab technician can upload uh, the, the results in the about that those patients and show the history of the lab uh, results. So uh, this is an app uh, which is uh, pretty soon uh, being launched on uh, uh, in USA itself and uh, they have like uh, really high hopes to get this uh, helping the community uh, very much and even I uh, see their it as a as a great uh, work for the community and yeah so other thing about the contingency plan is uh, things like obviously work from home and things like how better we can get ourselves prepared so uh, probably now talking about this now in india is a bit late because it, we are in a lockdown of 21 days already and as uh, many um, health gurus might be predicting it might be beyond that as well so as a conclusion a recession will substantially slow down the growth of an average software as a service company however a well-performing company like uh, salesforce uh, can excel irrespective of the economic culture that's what we believe in and all in all the SaaS business model is resilient but not bulletproof now what we can do is i will suggest you like you should try and especially this is for the business owners and uh, people who are leading uh, their companies uh, and something really good to learn for people who are following to become a leader so you need to question every assumption about your business uh, including like cash runaways so do you need to ask questions like do you really have as much money run away as you think could you withstand a few poor quarters uh, if the economy sputters have you made the contingency plans as strong as possible and where could you trim the expenses without fundamentally hurting the business so ask these questions now to avoid potential painful future consequences and uh, the second thing is obviously fundraising private financing could soften significantly as uh, happened in 20, 2001 and 2009 recession what would you do if fundraising on attractive term proves difficult in 2020 and 2021 could you turn a challenging situation into an opportunity to set up yourself for enduring success questions like many of most iconic companies were forged and shaped during difficult time and we partnered with uh, we partnered with many companies uh, back in last one year and the companies like google and paypal solidified through their aftermath of dot com burst more recently airbnb square stripe were founded in the midst of the global financial crisis if you go back and read their history so constraints focus the mind and provide the fertile ground for creativity that is the slogan which i am following right now <laughs> another thing is like sales forecast you need to obviously 
dig down into your books and even if you don't see any direct or immediate exposure of your for your company anticipate that your customers may receive uh, revise their spending habits so be pre well prepared for it marketing uh, that is definitely something i would suggest to invest on and uh, try to cut off those pieces where you see that the roi is not coming up that much headcount give all the above stress points on your finances this might be a time to evaluate critically whether you can do more with less or raise the productivity and we are definitely working towards raising the productivity even though in this tiresome lockdown situation we are trying to raise the productivity of each and every uh, member of cloud analogy and uh, last but not the least capital spending uh, that is something which we are always planning to do but never did so until you have charted a course to financial independencies examine whether your capital spending plans are reason uh, are reason to change and to know but these are the decisions that should be uh, deliberated and everyone should be aware of last but not the least before i would like to conclude i would like to say that stay home stay safe and uh, as darwin has told uh those who survive are not the strongest or the most intelligent but the most adaptable to the change so we need to adapt to change and that is what i would recommend everyone so moving forward uh i would like to open the floor for any question uh if you have it's more or less like a a generic talk which i have done with sharing my statistics and my sort of vision and strategy for next probably six seven eight months and i'll be open to you all for any question let's wait for uh, like two minutes and while uh, you all are giving your questions i would like to say we have a very good upcoming webinar uh, by one of my favorites uh, dipali and siddharth uh, the topic is salesforce cpq even i am uh, very much attached to this particular topic because i want to make sure that i being a cpq specialist uh, is able to teach different companies how to run actually their sales businesses and this is what is going to happen uh, with this particular webinar so don't forget uh, to register and join this webinar on tuesday upcoming tuesday and you'll be enlightened with a lot of good information so yeah, also any questions for me? Uh, no, Ajay, no question. Uh, sorry, Ashraf, I was not able to hear you. Uh, there are no questions right now. OK, guys, I think uh, that was good enough. Uh, we took good enough 40 45 minutes and thanks guys thanks for joining in do join this particular webinar as well uh, it was uh, great and hopefully things will settle down uh, pretty soon thank you good night bye bye